Section course 2, lesson 100 is on estimating square roots and irrational numbers. So here wants to know between which two consecutive whole numbers is the square root of 200. So remember that the square root of 100 is equal to 10. So since 200 is greater than 100, we might guess that it might be 20. So if we do 20 times 20, well that's equal to 400 and it's too large. So then I need to try a number in between 10 and 20, so we might try 15. 15 times 15 is equal to 225, which is also too large, but it's really close to 200. So we're going to try 14. And 14 times 14 is equal to 196, which is too small. So that means that the square root of 200 has to be somewhere between 14 and 15. So the answer would be 14 and 15 is where the square root of 200 lands. Okay, So irrational numbers are numbers that you cannot express as a ratio of two integers on the number line. Okay, So if we drew a number line to show the approximate location of these points, we had negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay. Well, pi we know is 3.14, and then it keeps going. So that's going to end up somewhere around here. So this is going to be about where pi would be. Okay. And then the square root of 2 we know we have to be somewhere between 1 and 2, because 1 squared is 1, and 2 squared is 4. So it has to be somewhere in between these two numbers. So we might say it's right about here, in about in the middle. Okay, 2.3 with a line over it means that it's 2.3333 on forever. So that's going to end up right after the 2, right about here, 2.3. Okay, and the last one is negative 1 half, and that one has a definite place. It's right in between negative 1 and 0. It's negative 1 half. Okay, so the numbers that are rational are both, the rational numbers are negative 1 half and 2.3, while negative all right, while the square root of 2 and pi are the irrational numbers. Okay, because we cannot present them as, an, as a number on the line. It's not a real, these two are not real numbers. Okay, all right, and that's it for this lesson.